Oh, uh, yo, what's up? <laughs> um, okay. Um, I came out as transgender uh, when I was like, let's say, um, around Jazzy's age, like 11, 12 years old. Mm -hmm. I was a, I was a fierce child. I, I, <laughs> I used to run around a lot, and I, I used to, uh, I used to mosh during my bar mitzvahs. <laughs> well, during my bar mitzvah, at least. With mosh, um, like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's, it's awesome, uh, being able to be a tattoo artist. And, you know, it's... People, like, they see, like, a past person or someone who died, you know, doing the tattoo work, and they look at you a certain way, right? Like, they'll even start on, like, how Halloween kind of has always depicted us for years on end. And, you know, it's, you know... Insulting. It's... There's a lot of stuff that has to be talked about, but I could say, you know, I'm... You know, I'm... I'm proud... I proudly died. <laughs> um... It, it was kind of a tragic situation. I, I drowned, unfortunately, and it was really hard for all my parents, you know, And my siblings as well, kind of experiencing it. I found a lot of power kind of being able to open to the fact that, you know, this was my life. And, you know, I... You know, everything's interconnected, right? Like, it, it's so cool how even while our bodies are being recycled into the environment, we're all, we're all rocking about <laughs> on this planet. <laughs> and for centuries, it's like, they don't understand, you know, how deeply important that is, right? Yeah. We're constantly treated like these kind of mystical deities, um, which, you know, is cool, <laughs> depending on the culture, right? But it's, we are really powerful, We do have a lot of, like, strength, and there's so many cool things you could do as a, as a past person. You could you could go to several places at once and be in a singular place while also being somewhere else. You know, it's, it's, it's really cool. And it's kind of like, you know, going to your 20s and experiencing college. It's, you could explore the world if you wanted to. But, you know, going into my 50s, it's, I thought to myself, you, you know what, you know what, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I won't allow myself to fuck. <laughs> I won't allow myself to have children. Speak, speak. You know, it's, I, I want to experience that kind of life again. And it's something that I feel like is really important is that, you know, it's important to really honor you know, the fact that you're, that you're singular in your spirit body before ever doing that because, you know, there's still like the stigma that you're simply a shadow of a person once you die but you don't you never want to be that mentality when you get a spirit solidifier it should always be like oh i can hop out if i want to right <laughs> like, like, yeah <laughs> i took a I trip to the if you wanted to uh, my children including you so much and Aww. you know we're all gonna you know pass at some point we're all going to pass we're all gonna see ourselves and we're all gonna be like whoa i feel i feel uh very strange this is not the feeling i had when i was physical i feel much i feel everything at once that's a feeling that i had and you know it's <sighs> take your time take your time i I, I, I respect you so much, and I, I thought it would be a cool thing to record this, but just take your time for anything. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely agree with you. <laughs> I absolutely agree. Yay. Yeah, it's Just breathe. It's a really beautifully complex thing and you know, it's you you know why people can you know, be upset, you know, I guess when it comes to these topics around death, but you know, ever since people recognize and realize that we should be spoken to like people who literally died and not like some kind of like like caricature like don't get me started on, on oh my god that was like so anti-spiritualist back then all like the all the um spirit hunting uh, things yeah oh no that word the g word no oh, oh yeah this apple tastes really good <laughs> i want a piece sure thanks <laughs> When people realize that we deserve to be acknowledged as someone who's died, and we're not these, like, cartoon characters necessarily. I mean, cartoon characters are awesome, you know? Like, <laughs> Thompson really loves Sprig from Amphibia. Oh, sorry. What happened? Oh, no. What happened? My apologies. Oh. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't use that word. No. Nah. I'm so lucky that, you know, when I met, um, LDU and Hope, it, and Sitma, Sitma too, I mean, Sitma is such a sweetheart, <laughs> like, I was able to experience all that with them, I was, and they understood, they understood that, you know, if I didn't want to be constantly physically bound around them, that's all right. Like, I have, I have a level of freedom and autonomy where I could say, yo, peace, and I could float up <laughs> and watch Earth from a distance if I want to. It must be so cool. And in a fun sense, yeah, it feels otherworldly, but that's still a human that's still a human being going through that. That's something that so many creatures experience on a day to day basis. It's like the Great Migration. It's what is something that? that people up until now haven't realized is such a monumental thing that happens every single day. That's so cool. Oh, it's like <laughs> do it do they have it in Rebel? I guess. It's, it's like when a bunch of marine life goes up to the surface from the deep sea and they all eat simultaneously. It's like a huge feast. Literally. It's it's, it's awesome. Oh, oh shit. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, of course. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, I wanted to I wanted to allow myself to be complex in how I experience life. I being as being spirit bound, you know, we're all spirit bound, but being able to being able to feel things in a non binary way, I I wanted to have that freedom. I wanted to. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. This apple is so good. <laughs> yes, of course, Taito. Of course. Um. Mm hmm. <laughs> Doing the apples together. I love you too. <laughs> I'm, I love you extra. Aww. Thanks. But yeah, the Great Migration, it does happen. And Reveal, um, unfortunately, it, it's so it's so absurd how things correlate so much between our dimensions. You know, um, a lot of Jabba Booey. We're not, we're not indigenous towards the, uh, towards, uh, towards the islands that we're on, right? You know, we are brought over through these beautiful tubes that are unfortunately constructed by these imperial lutes that live on our planet. Mm. And there's these stories where, you know, when we're being transferred and having to bear 
the miles and of course there's our ancestors they saw creatures that rise up from the ocean all at once and to eat and I, I, I think about that a lot I, I think about that and just our part of a journey what it meant to have that freedom to rebel on our own end before y'all humans came over and, and y'all screwed um, no it's fine messed up a lot of things unfortunately yeah. alright good <laughs> yeah good. Yeah, um, you're so awesome, Quinn. Uh, so, is there any like, is there anything else that you may want to, may want to know about Rebio? Maybe I don't mind. perhaps, maybe maybe perhaps. I don't mind trans. Yeah, I got it from Sigma. <laughs> trans, trans, trans. trans. trans.